Welcome, you're watching Develop with WP. Today's video, we're gonna cover templates. One of the things we need to do with our plugin is we need to find a way or provide a way for our plugin to provide templates to the theme for use to display our custom post types that we've built for our job listings plugin. Uh, this is kind of a gray area for plugins, mainly just because in theory, plugins should only provide functionality and the theme should only provide the presentation layer of a website. But there are times like this one where your plugin provides some type of functionality that also does require at least some level of presentation. And so it can be difficult to do this or at least do it right. So in today's video, I'm going to show you one way to accomplish this. And what's really neat about the, the, the approach that we're going to take today is that it's going to allow you to provide a template to the user for their theme. But it's also going to make it really easy for them to override your template with their own template just within the theme if they decide down the road that they want to go in a different you know, presentation or different display approach. Uh, and we want to make sure that we do it in that way. And what's really cool about this is we're kind of mimicking the way the WordPress's templating hierarchy works to begin with. And so whenever we're working with this kind of stuff, we want to make sure that what we do uh, works well with the way WordPress generally works. So let's get started. So as always, the first thing that we need to do is write our function. Our function. So it's going to be function dwwp. We're going to call this load templates. And then we're going to do add action. And the action that we're going to be hooking into here is going to be called uh, templates loaded or template include, sorry. There's a lot of ways to do this, um, but really um, you, template include is the safest way to do it. Uh, the reason we're using template include is because we're trying to work within the confines of WordPress's normal templating hierarchy. Um, and so that's the best that's the best hook that we can use. All right. So then what we need to do, let me give me some space below here so I'm not at the bottom. So the next thing we need to do, we got to think about this. We only want to load our single and our archive template when we're on the job listings post. And we don't want this function to be running on every page load, checking all the time to see whether or not it needs to be running. We don't want it to be going through and executing a lot of extraneous stuff if it doesn't have to. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick conditional check to see if we are on the jobs, if we are on a job post type. And if we're not, we're just going to get out of here. So we're going to do if get query var. So this is, you know, query vars are the um, publicly available, public, public facing URLs, post type does not equal job. We want to do some. And what we want to do is we want to just return. All right, so essentially, if, if whenever WordPress goes to load a page and it runs this function, it's going to say, does the query variables post type equal jobs? No, okay, let's just exit out of this function and nothing else I ever write after this will get executed. It's just done. And that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now we're going to do our first check. The first thing we need to check is to see whether or not we're on an archive page or a search page. The way we're going to do that is WordPress has these template tags called is archive and is search. So we're just going to check to see if we are on one of those. And if we are, we're going to do something. So if is archive oops or is search because uh, most of the time these are the same page use the same template if we're one of those we want to do something and then we're going to do one more conditional check so the next thing we're going to do is say if file exists 
get style sheet directory forward slash archive dot j job dot php then do something again all right so what's happening here we're checking to say hey are we on an archive page and, and or are we on a search page if so great then let's see does a certain file exist so why are we checking to see if this file exists well the way the wordpress templating hierarchy works if you're in a theme and you have a post type called job and you want to create a custom archive page for it all you have to do is create archive-job.php in the root of the template file or in the root of the theme files and wordpress will automatically go to use this so the reason we're checking to see if this exists is because we are trying to make it so that if the user of the site who has our plugin wants to create their own custom archive page for this job post type they can we want to make sure that we use their their version if it exists if it doesn't exist then we're going to use our version so first off we got to finish this up so if their file does exist then we want to return the template and the template we want to return is called is this get is the the above template So this is where the else comes in. Else, we want to return ours. Oops. Okay, and it's also worth noting too that um, I have went ahead and in this plugin that we're building, I have created a new directory called templates, and in there I've got an archive-job.php and a single, and I'll show you that really quick. Pretty much all the archive says is I am the plugin's archive page, and all the single says right now is I am the plugin single.php page. So I have went ahead and made those two files in a file called directory or templates, which is how I'm referencing here templates slash archive um, dash job dot php. Okay, so that's the first if. If we're on an archive page or a search page, and if they have a file already made for this, let's use it. If not, then let's use the template file that we want to use. Else if none of that happens, so if we're not on an archive page or a search page, we want to serve up, that means we're on a single, and we want to serve up our single.php for the jobs. But we still need to do if file exists. All right, and I'm going to copy this really quick just to speed things up. The only difference here is it's going to be single dash job. Then we want to return the same thing, style sheet directory, just again single dash PHP. Else we want to return ours. which is plugin dir path and we're going to change this to single and then at the very end if for some reason I don't think this is really necessary but we're going to go ahead and put it anyway but if for some reason whatsoever we're going to return the original template and we actually need to add this so hang on let me just put this in and I'll go fix something. Original template. I always do that. 
and we need to pass we need to pass original template into our function. Original template is the template that word so so as you've been seeing as we've been building this plugin, I don't have any of this stuff set. But when we click on a job post, it takes us to a it takes us to a single version of it. So what original template is original template is is it's the template that WordPress is planning to serve up at that moment before this function runs so if all else fails unreach yeah unreachable statement so I thought so uh, good old PHP storm tell me that I'm dumb but pretty much if nothing if if all else fails we we want to just serve up the original template all right so let's save this and let's go look at this in here. If I go to job listings and I go to view a job, it says I am the plugin single.php. So it looked and found out that there is no example of the plugin single. or the theme doesn't have anything, so it showed ours. If I go to the archive thing, you say I am the plugin's archive page. So this is looking really good. We're serving up our template now. And the next step would be to, and we're going to cover this, is to actually go and make this template have more than just a little echoing out of string. But we want to do just one thing. We want to do one thing really quick before we get out of here. What we want to do is let's go to this theme. It's the 2015 theme. Um, I am going to make a modification to like the actual theme. You would never do this because um, you would want to have a child theme. But I'm just going to create a single dash job dot php all right so in this 2015 theme i've created this and now i'm just going to go and i'm going to go echo i am the themes single dot php save it now let's go back and refresh and you see now it says I am the theme single.php so all I did was simply drop in this new file into the theme and now I'm overwriting the plugins um, template and that's exactly what we want we want as a plugin developer we want to provide these people with a template that's going to display all the data that our plugin is providing but we want to do it in a way that works within the WordPress's templating hierarchy and still allows this theme developer to still create their own custom layout that maybe better fits their design okay so it's just the it's just the right way to do things Crank it up.